Yeah, so a lot of times uh, fossils are just, you know, small bits of bone, sometimes just the tooth. This is a, a relatively uh, substantial uh, large size find. It all started in 1976 when workers digging near the Islington subway station unearthed something unexpected. A mysterious set of antlers buried deep beneath Toronto streets. What they found would puzzle scientists for decades. So it took a few years uh, of analysis and testing, but in 1982, a paper came out uh, and named this fossil deer as Torontosaurus uh, hypogeus. Uh, so it was so different from any other uh, deers that we know of that it had to be put not only in its own species, but in, in its own genus. Nicknamed the Toronto subway deer, the fossil became a local legend. But even with a name, questions lingered where did it come from and how did it end up buried beneath the city? We dated it to uh, about 11,300 years ago. Uh, so that's about just after the end of the ice age. Uh, so the ice sheet was receding northwards. Uh, and basically around Bloor Street was an old ancient lake called Lake Iroquois, which was the precursor of Lake Ontario. Uh, so basically it was found along the shores of the uh, ancient uh, glacial Lake Iroquois. Researchers now know what kind of ancient animal this was that once roamed the open tundra where Toronto stands today. So the morphological data said that it was more closely related to the caribou because of the brow tines. So this is the part of the antler that goes across the snout. But then we did a DNA analysis at the ROM and also Trent University. So we did a little bit of uh, destructive sampling. So we drilled a little bit into uh, the antler of Torontosaurus, uh, and then the DNA evidence actually said that it wasn't related to the uh, caribou, but it was actually more closely related to the white-tailed deer. And soon, visitors can see it for themselves. The Torontosaurus hypogenus is set to return to public display at the Royal Ontario Museum this December. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.